every time when you want to succeed and stop crying, don't do things alone. Start with God. When I preach about covenant, I tell people every long journey in your life, don't start a long journey with a covenant. What means a covenant? Covenant means I will be with you. Wherever you will go, I will be with you. Every long journey you start. If your business is a long journey, don't start it with a covenant. If your business is a long journey, don't start it with a covenant. If your marriage is a long journey, don't start it with a covenant. If your ministry is a long journey, don't start it with a covenant. Because when you are alone, you will cry. That's why the Bible said that the Lord told me, the Bible said, don't go and don't fight because I will not be with you. When God is not with you, you will fail. That's why when the Ark of Covenant was taken, there was failure. Why? Because when God is not there, when you do things alone, you cannot succeed. You will remain with faith. God, why? The problem is not about God. You started alone. From today, don't do things alone again. Try in whatever you start. Make sure that you start with God. You start with Him. So, all these principles, I want now to tell you, you will not cry. Let me now tell you about Jairus. The Bible says Jairus was honored by people. People was honored Jairus. But Jairus had a painful life because of her mother. The mother said he will be called a sorrow, he will be called a pain, he will be called a Jairus because he came from my pain. I was in a painful marriage. I was in a painful life. And that pain, you will live it in your life. Life of Jairus was a life of pain. But the Bible says, one day, he cried out to God and said, God, if you can remove my pain, if you can bless me really, if you can do this in my life. Naaman they said, Naaman was an honorable person. But the Bible said, he had pain. And the Bible says one day when Naaman was speaking to his wife, the men servant in the house. There is someone in your house who can disconsider him that can be your solution. That's why in your life don't disconsider people. You don't know who God can use for your blessing. You don't know who God can use for your glory. You can have money by the one you disconsider as as, as no man, but God can use it for him. Amen. That man said, I know a man. I know someone, a prophet of God. If my boss will go to that prophet, if my boss will make that prophet, the left hand will be restored. We can move today. God is here to remove you. This is a prophetic word. God has given me to tell you. He's here to remove your pain. God is here to remove your pain. You will never cry. You will never cry and cry and cry again. God is here to remove your pain. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Name of Jesus. Mama, I want to speak to you. Stand up. Koraba Shelabo Sayaba. I see a great restoration, financial restoration in your life. But what God is telling me, don't be tired with your heart to help people. Because I see your heart crying. Your heart crying. I see pain. But God tell me, don't stop helping. 
Because I see this is a way of God for your life. But what I see, I see great restoration. But when I see that restoration, I see you in the Asia's country, as China, as Turkey, Asia's country. And I see you with business. And the Lord is telling me, it's going to make you a strong woman. And it's going to bless you. You know, I have one of my, 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 my son here in uh, Zambia. He came here 2016, I think so. But his wife came to my, my, server, my service. The man was mad, total mad. The, he came, she came to look for the solution. I prayed for the man, God delivered the man. And I told him, you will go to Zambia and God will bless you and things will change. He came here, he bought a house, he's doing business, he's a blessing, a blessing, a blessed man now. I was there two days or three days, uh, two days back when I, uh, the following day I came here. And the Lord is telling me, you will testify the same in your life. But don't, don't, and don't uh, give up. Now my kid, God is telling me today to have a covenant with his eyes. It means to have something that your eyes will do every month to his eyes. Because I see this other taking your heart. And I see God changing your life to this altar. And this altar will produce you to other nations. And God tell me today to have, you will see the man of God. And you tell me something that you are we feel to do to the man of God or to the hunter. Every man, it will be your covenant to God. Wherever you will be, you will remember the soul. And the Lord will bless you. When I am speaking to you, I see behind you, I see a daughter, I see a lady. I see the anointing of God. The, upon, the, 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 the anointing of God from you coming upon that lady. But the, 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 it's not a, a, a big like you, but a, 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 I see no more a, 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 a sign. But I see the anointing of the Lord. There is a visitation upon your life. Lift up your hand. Lord Jesus. Yes. I see 
a problem with your right hand, your right leg. Come. You will see the man of God will do what I spoke to. The egg of this one. There is a testimony. There is See your legs shaking. Before you came in front, did you have pain? Now you see there is no pain. No pain total. You can do this. You can walk. You can walk. It is finished. Walk in the name of Jesus. The way you walk, your business will walk. Your life will walk. Whatever you do, you walk. In the name of Jesus. 